YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have his brother-in-law TJ, we have a beer that he wanted to try. This is from Indie Ale House. This is the Long Brunch Porter. Ooh, so what do we got going on here? 6.2% um, alcohol by volume. It is a mocha porter, so coffee chocolate. Um, had to pull this out of my wallet because you always need to have a bottle opener with you. Always. Excuse me, go ahead and pour yourself. Uh, oh, you're Give me a right fucking there. glass. I pulled cheap. four out. Okay. Let's see here. These were the best Amazon purchase I ever did. These are plastic. How much were these? Not how much. I think they were like, it's a set of 12, and I think I spent like 15 bucks on the 12. That's not bad. It's a bit of a muddy color on it. I'll say that. It's not that like crisp it looks like brown. Cola. Oh, it, it does. Oh my god, I can smell the coffee already. Oh, yeah. That's... But yeah, it's actually, look at it down here. It's the full on, like, cola amber. Yeah. Like, and it's not the head... that crisp brown, it's it's muddier. And the head, like you said, it, it like Katie said, it is cola like. It just it sticks around. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's full on mocha, it's, though. It's, it's very. Oh, wow, yeah. You can smell the, the cocoa beans in there for sure. It smells like a Timmy's. That's, no that's chocolate though. I don't smell the chocolate on it. No, the coffee is the coffee is mm -hmm. overpowering. Uh, I get I get a hint of chocolate, but I mean, is that psychosomatic or is it actually there? It's psychosomatic with you, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try it. Oh, that is good. That is that is actually probably my favorite one of the night. Now, that is. It's smooth. It's easy drinking. There is a little bit of chocolate on the flavor. It cuts the coffee a little bit. The coffee is a little little sharper than I'd expect it to be. It's a little green. Um, it's not a dark roast, that's for no. sure. It's a, it's a very light roast, which I'm surprised at, considering the color. Do you want to top up on that? There's still a little bit left in there. That is really good, though. That, it is fantastic. I it's a breakfast that. beer. I mean, like I said, a touch of, touch of chocolate just to sweeten it out. I'd have that with my bacon in the morning. Yeah. Especially if you For did sure. your bacon a little bit overcooked. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Some rye toast. Mm, that would just add to it. That That's that's a cup of coffee in the morning. That's that's great. A little thin. No, thank you. A little, little thin. But other than that, I, I really like that. Or a 10, sir. I give it a nine. Okay, and you know what? I'm giving it a nine as well. Now, here's something I didn't make your wife do. Um, beers, when they get a nine and up, it means they're very special. And every style of beer has its own dance. So a porter has what's called the porter dance. <laughs> so the porter, you don't even have to get up for the porter dance because we both gave it a nine. But it's kind of like you're rolling your shoulders and it's porter dance, motherfucker. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye.